from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom, this is News Fix. In this update, a serious crash has sent a person to hospital in a critical condition. It happened near Hastings at the intersection of State Highway 50 and Marai Kakaho Road just after 1.30 this afternoon. People are urged to take State Highway 2 rather than State Highway 50 until further notice. The holiday road toll currently sits at 12 after police confirmed a second person died in hospital following a crash on State Highway 29. Fire crews are now monitoring, rather than fighting, a blaze that damaged part of Matakana Island in the Bay of Plenty. The blaze, which started last Saturday, burned through around 41 hectares of scrub and forestry slash. Here's Azaria Howell. 18 fire crews have been working over the last week to control the burn and reinforce containment lines so the fire can't break out. Crews will now use drones and thermal imagery to keep watch of the island. Water carts will stay on site and emergency services can escalate up a response if needed. The site remains off limits to the public. A leading force in paediatric oncology is being acknowledged in this year's New Year's Honours. Scott McFarlane is now a sir for his services to health. He transformed the treatment and improvement of children with cancer during his 40-year career. His nationally coordinated approach has seen our five-year survival rate rise above 80%. Sir Scott says he's proud to have led a model of small-volume, high-complexity care. And Maine Secretary of State in the U.S. says her staff have been receiving threats after the state removed Donald Trump from its presidential primary ballot. The Republican frontrunner, who's also barred in Colorado, and now awaits a decision in Oregon. Trump is expected to appeal at both Colorado and Maine's decisions next week. Maine Secretary of State Sheena Bellows says despite the threats, she is focused on upholding the Constitution. That's news. I'm Max Toll. In sport, second seed Elena Svitolina has found herself on the tough side of the draw at the Women's ASB Tennis Classic. The Ukrainian will take on former world number one Caroline Wozniacki in the first round, with the winner likely to square off against former US Open winner Emma Raducanu in the second. Svitolina, who took part in the official draw by picking up plastic discs and flipping them, admits she was unaware of her fate during the process. To be fair, I didn't realize I was just enjoying just doing my job, you know. <laughs> That's the luck I have, so it's okay. And the Central Hinds have moved to outright first on the women's T20 Super Smash table after a six-run victory over the Canterbury Magicians. It came via the Duckworth-Lewis method at Pukekura Park. That's sport. For more news, listen to Newstalk ZB live on iHeartRadio.